spent four hours having a fairly lengthy and fairly in-depth discussion about the uh, the blunt and somewhat uh, yeah pretty blunt tweet that I'd put out there explaining exactly why I thought there were concerns still. All Chris Roberts did was tweet this tweet filled with a lot of computer jargon. What that translates to is a rough blueprint of how to hack into a plane's systems through the in-flight Wi-Fi and deploy the oxygen masks. Robert says he's been warning airlines about this for years. The federal government issued a report saying the newest planes like Boeing 787 Dreamliner are the most vulnerable. This has been one of the issues and it actually came up in security circles knowing that they had made some mistakes. John Hahn at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Prescott says it's not secret. The Wi-Fi you can use in your seat is the exact same Wi-Fi the pilots use to control the plane. You name it, um, it could be uh, flaps, it could be the engine. Uh, the claim is that you could turn engines off. The fear is there's a terrorist on the plane who's you know, hacking into the network. To me, that situation is very uh, probably impractical. Cybersecurity experts like Adam Dupay at ASU agree it's a problem, but they also say it's not very easy to do. But they say it's not just one plane that's connected, it's all of them and the airports. So there the threat would be if you get into the air traffic control system, now you can bounce to all these planes.